If only you could see Don't you know that you're beautiful right down the street from my house somebody took one of these benches from the front of the park um, and put it here which is nice I always said why don't they have benches here so this is a nice spot to sit shaded yeah isn't that pretty okay guys so today I am doing a filming a double video so I'm going to be doing some anti procrastination um so I'll be doing that, and I'm also going to go to Aldi's and Publix, so I'm going to film a grocery haul, too, so, um, I thought that I would film the grocery haul like a day in the life grocery haul. Let me know if you guys like that. I might be transforming into a day in the life video, uh, channel. Don't know. We'll see. Okay, y'all, finally getting the alligator on camera i have got it on instagram before he was sticking out of the water a little more than that a few minutes ago or a minute ago but by the time i got the camera ready you couldn't see him uh, super blurry zoomed in like that i missed a fish jumping out of completely out of the water To remind you that on June 30th is the One Box Challenge. It is an open invite, so if you are a fellow YouTuber, you are welcome to join. I will be posting the playlist on my community page, so make sure you check that out. And if you are not a YouTuber, you can post on Instagram using the hashtag Summer One Box Challenge. I took the sprayer off the hose. It was just... It was clogged up and stuff, so it was just taking too long to water everything, so I'm going to water the plants, go have some breakfast, get dressed. Oh, I got to edit the video. Finish editing the video and post that and then go in the errand. hair mask in my hair so I gotta go rinse it off but I gotta put a finish on this video while it's uploading so um yeah can you see that it's already one o'clock almost oh my god I have not got out the door yet scratch that at what I said about becoming a day in the life channel no <laughs> it's taking me too long to edit the vlogs plus I had to re-upload because I was watching my video and then to put the links and stuff in there, all the, in the description and all like that. And then I saw a mistake. So I had to stop the upload and fix the mistake and then re-upload again. You know, I watched it like four times. Anyhow, um, unless I make my day in the life vlog shorter, that would help. Anyway, I have a really hard time doing that. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this. So, rinse off my hair. Right, so, this is the native hair mask. Y'all know I like the macadamia, whatever that's called, that I get from Marshalls. You can get it from Amazon, too. Love it. D from D. Lovely Life loves it. A lot of people love it. And I love it, too, but it's not very natural. But, you know what? My hair is horrible lately. So, um, I might end up going back to it. Hmm. And just maybe use it once a month. I was like using it. It's supposed you're supposed to do it 
I don't know really what you're supposed to do. I'm guessing like once a week you're supposed to do that. And sometimes I was using it as a conditioner because I love it so much. It just made my hair so soft and nice and curly and not frizzy. Yeah, so we'll see if I go to Marshall's today to get some. Mm. Okay, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you dressed? Okay. Yeah, I got a new outfit. It's just like the pink one, but it's gray. It feels a little tight, but... The other one loosened up after a while, too. It's like Jersey. So, anyway. Who is hot in here? Anyway, I'm feeling, I'm not feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling frustrated. So, I've been, go I've been contemplating, um, stopping my Instacart because I don't use it for Publix anymore. It is just on the street, and it's just way too expensive to do it the Instacart. There's no reason for that, unless I was sick or something. And then I figured if if I still wanted to use it, I could always re-up it, you know, re-sign up for it and stuff. So but then I'm like, that's how I should just use it for Aldi because it is more expensive, but it's still cheaper than Publix. <laughs> I'll have to see what the, compare it to like the cheese. Because I know it's like $1.89 at the store. So, but I have to run an errand anyway. I might as well. But, you know, to be honest with you, I don't want to. I don't want to go all the way to Aldi. It feels like a chore. It feels like a chore that I don't want to do. And I can't decide. So, I also was going to go ahead and cancel all of my, all of my personal prescriptions all of my subscriptions i'm going to cancel misfits market it just didn't work out for me you have to be really good about using when you get the stuff right away otherwise it will spoil um and you have to remember to put your order in otherwise it'll just send you whatever um each week and i'm going to cancel grove collaborative i don't really use it anymore i was trying to you know do the YouTuber thing and I did get some free stuff but probably ended up spending more because I did the VIP thing yeah 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 what other thing do I have going that I need to cancel a couple of other things I'm trying to remember Grove um, the Instacart the Misfits um, it's 97 degrees in the car yeah it's not 97 outside Anyway, so, I don't know. I don't remember the other things that I wanted to cancel. Mm. I can't. Oh, I thought of the one, and no judgment. I signed up for Thrive Market a long time ago, and every month when I go on there to go ahead and order something, I end up not ordering because they don't have what I want. I wanted the Bob's Red Mill Pizza Cross. They don't have it. So I had to end up going to Walmart to get it. And now they do have it at Publix sometimes. Um, and I, I, I just need to cancel. I've never once ordered from them. Whatever. If And then I feel like I would end up buying stuff that I didn't really need. Just because it's from Thrive Market. So I, I'm going to cancel that. That was $5 a month. I don't know how long I've been paying that for nothing. And then, you know, I don't do this other thing where whenever... Well, I might have done it once or twice. <laughs> uh, I try not to do it anymore. When you go to buy something, let's say Kohl's, and then they say, you want to sign up for the credit card? You can get 20% off your, your, purchase, your to purchase today. No. <laughs> then I don't end up canceling it, and I don't need to use that. I just need one credit card. That's all we have. I don't need to. Yes. You save money on that, but I'm not real good at keeping up with that, so that's a no. One credit card. And by the way, we're debt free except for our house, so we don't even use the credit card as a credit card. We use it, well, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We use it as a, um, to purchase stuff online, because you shouldn't be purchasing stuff online with your deb debit card. It's not protected like it is your credit card. Yeah, um, if something somebody charges it and stuff like that so um 
anyhow that's why we have it to use it for Amazon and any online purchases and I use my debit card for around town and stuff like that oh I could use it my credit card for everything because I get points I don't know why I don't I get cash back points I probably should it's just because I like to keep the charges separate I like to know what I'm spending stuff on Amazon opposed to Publix and I, I don't know I don't know what do you guys do let me know and also let me know if you like this um, day in the life grocery haul vlog <laughs> or do you want to just see a straight grocery haul vlog you don't want to see a day in the life I thought I'd try it We'll see if it if even gets posted. Obviously, if you're watching it, it is. I might change my mind, though. All right. Uh, I deposited it to Chuck. I was going on a tangent for another video. Um, and I went right by the bank. I had to turn around. Anyway, so I'm here at Aldi. Do I want to go to Starbucks first and get a coffee? I kind of do. Why does everything take me so long to get done? I swear it takes me forever to get accomplished something. It's over 55 things. I've been saying 50. My mom will say 55. It's over 55 things. I've mentioned this before. My mom has said that. My mom said this when she was, um, you know, she had Alzheimer's and she still was somewhat there. But anyway. She said, this old stuff is not for sissies. I'm like, you're right, Mom. This getting old stuff is not for sissies. She was right. It's not for so sissies. So I got a white chocolate, white chocolate mocha iced latte. Something like that. Anyway. So. All these right here. I'm going in. Actually, I'm going inside all these. have been forever. Since I've been here, I think I did get a Instacart. I don't know. I might change my mind. I was did I did I mention that or was that in another video? That um, I was thinking about getting rid of Instacart. I, I don't know. I can't make my mind up. It's ten dollars a month plus whatever other fees you pay for um, delivery. And then, if you want to leave a tip, you're not required to do a tip, but, yeah, because they, the, the people get the percentage, but you can go over and beyond that, I guess. So, there's that. People who deliver it get a percentage. I don't understand why, why they need to raise the prices of the items in there they're already getting money like if you go to the store they're making a profit when you purchase it at the store why do they need to charge an additional amount for buying it in the I don't I don't I don't get it I guess it's what do you call that capitalism or something I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about okay <clears throat> I'm struggling, guys. I don't even want to go in. I'm tired from my bike ride this morning. Oh well. Suck it up.
Okay, guys, this is future me editing and doing a voiceover, which this video was recorded two weeks ago, and I don't have prices for you because I cleaned out my purse the other day and I realized I threw away the receipt. So next time I go to Aldi's, I'll have more prices. I am showing them the best I can in this video, but when I show you the haul at home, I'm not showing prices. Definitely, obviously, all these is cheaper, but I was disappointed that they did not have very much organic produce. So I was disappointed in that. Cheese is the number one of the number one things I would definitely buy at Aldi. It was $165. I believe it is $185 in the Instacart app, which I didn't end up um, canceling because I had a stomach bug the, a week after this was filmed and I uh, ended up using it for that. Well, for Publix. So, um, yeah. So, I think I'll keep that. But cancel the other things. And the other thing that is a really good price is the grass-fed beef. I believe it was only $5.99. And it was like $8.99 at Publix. So, definitely check out those two things. If you're wondering about the taste of the cheese, the, the Happy Farms cheese from all these... I believe that's what the name is is really good guys it is comparable to Kraft I wouldn't say it is as good as Cabot cheese but pretty close and it's fine hubby and I like it and um yeah and it saves a lot Oh, there look I was wrong it is $4.99 so that is like a $3 price difference huge I have to tell you, I never tried the grass-fed steak at Aldi's. It always didn't look good, but I like the way this is packaged. And um, I don't know, <laughs> being silly, but let me tell you, that steak was really good. It had like a richer taste to it. I, it, I would definitely recommend that. Publix doesn't really have grass-fed steaks, so not that I ever noticed or I just end up missing it. It gets sold out really fast or something, so I'm going to get more of that for sure. You see the price of that olive oil? That definitely doesn't beat um, Publix's buy one, get one free, but I'm not sure about the quality of that. But I did get end up getting, I believe, some avocado oil, which I thought looked pretty good, and so there's that. didn't get any coconut oil because I have plenty and actually I've been using avocado oil and olive oil more um, I'm not sure I'm on the fence about the coconut oil thing and the avocado oil was $6.99 here it is like $10.99 at Publix see spices are a really good deal here at all these I didn't need any so I didn't get any and sometimes I can't always find what I want here so um, I do end up buying it elsewhere The taco shells are a really good deal, so I believe I got 
two boxes of that. I think I already had some at home, but went ahead and picked up two boxes. And I'm trying the, what is it? The crayon raspberry something <laughs> juice here. I usually buy either Northland or Ocean Spray and we'll see how that, I like that. If you use Instacart, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious how you like it. If you don't use Instacart, I will put my link down in the description and you can check that out. You can try it out and save $10 and I believe that's what the deal is going now. And when you save $10, I get $10. So that's kind of cool. done and I'm freaking tired and I cut myself it stopped bleeding now but it wasn't I was like I don't have a band-aid I, I don't have a little kids anymore I don't keep a band-aid in my car anymore so I know I'm not gonna want to go to Publix and guess what I gotta take this stuff home it, it can't it's too hot here in Florida even though I have a cooler bag but I didn't put it in I knew it was gonna just go home. It's too hot to in Florida to keep this stuff in the car, really. I mean, it was what hundred and something when we got when I got in here. So I'm gonna go home. See what hubby says. I was gonna do a box of chicken and a sub. So maybe I'll just go and get that. And I need ice and I need almond milk. I just need it's it's four twenty. Hmm. I mean, it's still early yet. I could do that home and take a rest and uh yeah so i don't know how i feel now about that um other than the cheese and the and the um hamburger i don't know so like okay so like the the cheese was i'll have to check the app but the last time it was when i checked the app it was like 185 and it was 165 so that's 20 cents that's not a, that big of a deal unlike Publix I don't know how much they jump up the price on the app um, the Instacart app um, but unless you buy it buy one get one free at Publix it's like 389 something like that and I, what, what did I buy it for the last one? Buy one, get one free. And it was $4.19, $4.29, something like that. And that was not on the app. So, uh, you know, so even that little bit is worth it to get it on the app. Oh, that's a lot of effort. You know, you know what? I'm out of practice of going to, um, to Aldi's. And so that took me a while because I forgot where everything was and they moved stuff around and the, and, and the other reason I don't shop there is because they don't have everything I want. I didn't even see any bread. Did I miss it? Because hubby wanted some bread, but we do like the Dave's Killer Bread. I doubt they have that. They barely had any organic. What did I buy that was organic? The kale, the strawberries, that was a really good price. But am I, am I going to come here just for the strawberries I mean that was $2.99 for organic strawberries I like those are on the dirty dozen list and usually that the, the dirty dozen list look it up I'll put a try to put a link um, those are the top 12 things that you should buy organic especially if you're putting them in a smoothie or like a green smoothie and stuff so I like to buy the kale the cucumber um, and everything that I put um, lemons and limes, although I forget sometimes, but really should, because I put the peeling in there and everything, because look we'll that up too. The lemon peel is really good healing, detoxing thing to do. So if you're going to put the peeling in your smoothie, you sh it should be organic. Um, yeah. And there are certain things you don't need to buy organic, like mushrooms are fine, potatoes, pretty sure they're fine. I don't remember off the top of my head. I should by now, but I don't. Um, spinach. No, you have to buy organic spinach. So they had some, but I didn't buy any because I have some at home. And did I buy some? I did buy some. I didn't buy the organic. Um, the organic. 
lettuce because we didn't need, I have some and I don't want to waste it because I'm trying not to waste the food anymore. I always bought too much produce and so I don't know. Maybe I'll just alternate. One week Publix, one week Aldi. I don't know. I'm frustrated. I don't know. So that was $137 for all that. Def and that's not enough. I need some more stuff. That's it's not enough. I, I, I forget what else I need. So, um, yeah, I'll see you at home. Um, I'll get hubby to unload and I'll do a grocery haul. The kitchen is clean, so uh, I think, except for maybe hubby's lunch. He made he made eggs, I think. So that's on the stove. So I'll do that and take a, a rest and then maybe just. Wing by and get almond milk, a box of chicken, a sub, something for me, maybe a kale salad. I don't really feel like that. Um, and some almond milk and ice. <laughs> I need ice. I'm all out of ice. Um, whatever. I'll check and see what else is on this list. Yes, and I'm in line to get a Starbucks again because I got a small one. There was nothing. I should have got a large. Oh, well, I know what I wanted to say. I want to say this before I get home because I could tell you at home and I'm show you everything I got, although I so showed you most of it. But I'll just do a real quick overview. Um, the tuna and the chicken breast was not cheaper. But only if you, right now, the tuna is buy one, get one free at Publix. And the chicken breast is, um, the canned chicken breast is buy one, get one free. And that's a good thing. The cats eat that. Plus, it's a good thing they have for hurricane season, for hurricane supplies um so on a regular basis it would be cheaper at aldi but i've never had it i don't know if i like their brand because i'm picky about which kind of tuna i eat i like the expensive out Al, what's it called alcabor albo i don't know the chunk the chunk solid white tuna i like the expensive bob don't care he likes the the other cheap stuff and plus we give to the cats once in a while. Anyway, <laughs> the point of that was, is that it was, um, a, right now it's not cheaper. So I didn't buy any, um, because I'd rather buy the Publix brand. Well, it's not Publix brand, but the brand I usually buy at Publix because I'm not used to this brand. And I'm tired and I want to go home. <laughs> Usually hubby unloads this, but he's not off of work yet, so I have to do it. I bit off more than I could chew today. Here's the thing. I went for a eight-mile bike ride this morning, and it's only like the third bike ride I've done since I fell off my bike. I, I have to give myself some time. <laughs> oh, it's going to take a little while for me to get back where I can do more stuff. Because laying around the couch made me get worse shape. Yeah. All right. I'm unplugging you and going inside. Maybe you can come out of here. Okay. okay. Hubby was able to unload for me. So, um, so this was the organic stuff. Again, I know the strawberries were cheaper. They're like five, $4.99 to $5.99 at Publix. This was $2.99. I don't remember how much the... Blackberries were, they were organic though. The broccoli was organic and the spinach was organic and the kale was organic. Um, so I'm sure that was probably cheaper than what was at Publix. Uh, yeah, they didn't have any organic cucumbers so I didn't get them cause I put those in my smoothies. Um, like they didn't have any organic mushrooms, but I don't usually buy the organic mushrooms. You don't have to. The avocados look really good. They're hard. So I just, they're not all mushy. The individual ones were all mushy. So, um, I don't remember the price. I'm sure they were, they couldn't be more. So I bought them. Um, something I always buy. The onions are probably a good price. And the bananas are a good price. Not organic, not necessary because they have a thick skin. Um... Uh, cherries, 
were, I'm sure, were a good price. They're not organic, and the potatoes, yeah. And then I bought corn because we were out. Um, it's not really the healthiest thing to eat. Uh, yeah, it's not non-GMO. I don't know that you can get non-GMO corn. But we like to have it on hand, and it's good for hurricane food, and I don't know. I like to make um, uh, shepherd's pie. It's really not the healthiest thing. I know it's corn and it's a vegetable, but it's really not. Look it up. Anyway, and then I bought some of this cranberry raspberry juice cocktail because it was cheap. I don't know how it will compare to Northland or the um, Ocean Spray. We'll see if we like it. Um, if we like it, we'll keep getting it. We don't even drink that much of it. And then I bought the peanuts. We really didn't eat them. I think I have enough, but uh, they were cheap. So, um, I thought we'd try them. I got one of the honey roasted and one of the sea salt great hurricane food to have. Um, and I got, I only got eight, four of each of the mild cheddar and that was 165 and the avocado oil. I bought it because it was like ex ridiculously expensive and then didn't have never had it buy one get one free at Publix. I always get the olive oil, but even olive oil at Aldi's was cheaper without it cheaper than the buy one get one free at Publix. But I didn't eat any right now, I have plenty. And I don't know how I feel about that, the brands. I don't know how good they are. Yeah, you need a good quality olive oil. Yeah, and it really should be organic. But I haven't been buying organic even, but avocado oil is supposed to be the best. So that was only, what was that? I don't know, but the price on the screen. And we'd, um, I'm sure this is probably cheaper than at, at Publix and I needed one because I didn't have a whole chicken and I went ahead and bought this ribeye steak, definitely cheaper than ribeye steak at Publix and they don't have grass fed boneless ribeye steaks. So we'll try that. Usually the grass fed beef is, um, like has a richer taste, like the hamburger and stuff. Uh, not a lot, but it does, it it does taste a little bit different, obviously, because of grass fed. So we'll try that. If I like it, it was twelve thirty nine for the two. I don't know if it was cheaper or not, but prob I don't know. Like the regular steaks or it might be cheaper, not the grass, but I don't know. Anyway, and I got this salmon. If I like that, or that's a pretty good price. Um, it is the uh, wild caught. Does that say wild caught? The sign said wild caught. I hope so. That's all you should buy. Other stuff is nasty. The sign said wild caught. Hmm. We'll see. I'm thinking maybe not. I think the wild caught is darker. This darker orange. The lighter orange is. Yeah. Well, I bought it, so we'll eat it. Um, I don't know that this is any cheaper, but I went ahead and bought it since I was there. And then, of course, the grass-fed beef is, um, the hamburger, the ground beef, it was $4.99. So I bought five of those. That, you can't beat that price anywhere, um, for grass-fed beef. Publix is sometimes on sale, but I think the last time I saw it was $8.99. So you're talking $3 a package difference. <laughs> I'll see what it is when I go today, if I remember. All right, I'm going to, have to put this away and take a break and then go back to Publix and at least get ice, chicken, sub, I don't know, almond milk, right? And uh, see if I can do comparative prices for you because I don't know how much else I need, really. And my fridge, but my refrigerator, no, no, I got mess on the floor. And those bags were yucky. I haven't used them forever. I need to wash them. Uh, doesn't really, really could use cleaning out. I guess I could use some eggs. Um, this is like, look at how bare that is. Uh, cucumbers. I decided not to buy tomatoes anymore. They spoil too fast. And I'm fine with using red peppers and substitute for that. So, oh, I need lunch meat. Lunch meat. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's throw that away. Um, yeah, I don't know what else we need. I'll have to look at my list while I take a rest and then 
Oh, butter. I forgot to look for butter. I'm sure that was probably cheaper on Aldi's. Oh, well. What are you going to do? We needed some butter. Okay, remember in a previous video, I said I wanted to get um, 30 pieces of meat for 30 dinners to stock up before hurricane season. Well, it was already hurricane season, but before August, because it's really not a threat till then. So I counted 17 that I forgot I had here. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I just need uh, six more pieces of meat. Yeah. And then of course, replenish too. Keep a stock of um, to go up here. I need to reload this, but I'm too tired to do that right now. So I should probably keep one of each out and then put the rest in there. <laughs> That's how tired I am. I'll fix it later. All right, I just wrote down what meat we have, so I think I might want to make me another list for just for Publix. Um, and then I need to put an order in for a sub. So all I have to do is pick it up when I get there. Yeah, yeah I forgot. I also got a thing of water to tie me over to when I get to the water man to get the jug, the, the three gallon jug of water. And I got a watermelon, which is definitely cheaper than Publix. It was like three eighty-five. I will let you know how much Publix. I want to say it was four ninety nine when I seen it the other day. All right, <sighs> going out again as the day go on goes on. My hair gets poofier and poofier. I put. I don't remember. Yeah, I showed you. I put that mask in my hair. Huh? I don't know. Probably could have put it in there longer. I have none left, so either I order that or go back to the macadamia. Mm, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll try the native one more time, see how that works. I just actually just need to drink more water. I know that sounds ridiculous, but my hair seems to be frizzier when I don't drink enough water. Your skin's dry and your hair's dry. Drink more water. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get to Publix, get Hubby his sub, chicken. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself to eat. And I actually have a huge list of stuff that I did not get at Aldi. Let's see. I spent like 137. What do you think? Why do you think I'm going to spend a Publix? I guarantee you I'm going to spend at least a hundred. Prices are ridiculous. Uh, I guarantee some of that is stock up. Like the hamburger, the cheese, month's worth, month's worth. The corn, month's worth. So probably once a week we eat that corn. I probably should have got more, but I wanted to try that first before I went ahead and bought more of it. That was a good price, 47 cents. Isn't that a good price? I'm terrible though. I don't retain numbers on everything. I do know that the, the strawberries are like $4.99, $5.99 for their organic strawberry. So I knew that $2.99 was a really good price. But you gotta eat those. When they're organic, you really gotta eat them up fast. All right. I, this video is probably been long enough, so it is 6.53. It doesn't feel like it. This is, I said that video was going to be long enough, but here I am, titter chattering. So, um, we were, we kind of stopped eating late because of, uh, the whole thing last year and I, oof, sun's in my eyes. The, um, I was doing the, I was cooking more and we were eating out less and I was doing the cook once, eat twice, and we started a routine of eating earlier. But when they 
when it gets dark later, we just tend to eat later. And uh, we always did eat late, but I stopped it. We stopped doing that um, last year, and then uh, over the last mm, two months, we started eating late again because it's like I said, it's getting darker later, and I don't, know, I don't feel I don't feel hungry till it gets dark. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I don't know if that stems from when we were kids. We didn't eat till we ever I don't know, did we eat? Got there. I think it's we, you know, I grew up in Connecticut. I think yes. It stays lighter longer in Florida than it does, you know, because we're closer to the equator, right? <laughs> around the store you've seen it a million times uh, well not really I just did a video with that walking around the store so you don't need me to do that I can just show you what I got when I got home but I kind of wanted to sh I probably didn't do a very good job of it I'm sorry I was tired and um, I know other people do a really good job of showing you around the store and stuff if you've never been to Aldi but I, I honestly was just disappointed that the shelves were kind of bare and I didn't see stuff that I normally see, like gluten-free stuff. I didn't see very much of that. But when I'm tired, I'm lackadaisy about searching for stuff like that. Usually there's like a section. I didn't see that. And I didn't even see my favorite, I must have missed it, my favorite um, gluten-free uh, white cheddar cheese puffs, the Simply, whatever the, brand, the Aldi's brand is, Simply something or another. Um, yeah. Anyway, is it worth it to, to, to do all that? Just do Instacart, maybe, for cheese, and maybe. I, I, I might end up keeping that. Hmm. No. Also, too, see if I can't do the 10 day thing since I went to both stores today. It's hard to make bananas or something like that stretch, though. Um, so, we'll see. So, um, but today is the 8th. It's Michaela's birthday. Um, so, that would mean in the 8th, I need to make it stretch to the 18th. I think I can do it. Hubby cannot. I can pull magic out of the hat. And he, he always says, there's nothing for dinner. I need for dinner. What did I count? 17, right? No. 18, no. I don't remember. I thought 17 pieces of meat and then I said I need, I need six more. Well, that don't make 30. I don't remember. I'll have to play the video back. But I remember I needed, I needed six more meats. Not sure I will get them today. Um. If there's something on sale, I will. I can always stock up at another time when there's something on sale, and then, uh, and then all I have to do is buy six or seven pieces more, more pieces of meat each week to replenish it. So I keep a rotating amount of thirty pieces of meat in the freezer, so we have thirty days. That's enough for the freezer for hurricane season, obviously. Keeping all that meat in there keeps the um, freezer colder longer when the electricity goes out. I've never had a problem with that. Nobody's really said anything, but I, I feel like people are thinking that. Um, that they're, you know, aren't you afraid that that's going to spoil? No, I've never had a problem with it. I've been doing that. And well, also what I'll do is there's all that, the ice packets in there and stuff. So I actually could fit more meat in there, but because of all the ice packets in there, I mean, I could take them out and then only put them in there during, um, hurricane season, but I don't care to keep more than one month's worth of, um, meat anyway, in the first place. Cause what? 
usually this doesn't happen, but I did the other video. I threw out that it was a steak, flank steak, or I don't know what it was. It look, it was from June of last year. Uh, yeah, <laughs> never ate it. So that, yeah, that was went. But I rarely throw out meat. It gets used. I rarely throw it out. Um, other stuff like frozen vegetables. I, mean, I don't know why I didn't buy them. I don't even really like frozen vegetables. So um, uh, we like fresh. And then, of course, on the fly, corn and green beans. If I don't feel like cooking fresh, or we like to have that in the in the shepherd's pie. And anyway, so. So, oh, what did I say? So, I'll take a jug of, um, a gallon jug of water. And, and actually, I saved the, the cran raspberry juice containers because the shape of them, um, fits better in the freezer than a gallon. Just, I don't know. It just does. So I'll save those, which I, which I'm glad I said that because I need to remember to save them. I'll put them aside, and I'll freeze them and put them in the freezer, and it'll keep the meat. Um, of course, I could buy some ice too. But then the other thing I do is take the uh, a gallon jug of water and the juice and put them in the refrigerator. So whatever is left in the refrigerator can um, stay cold too for a couple days. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really had a problem with stays. As long as you're not opening and closing the fridge. Although, now that I remember, um, did we use the generator the last time? Yes, the last time we had a hurricane, we ended up using the generator to run the refrigerator. But our last house, the freezer and the fridge, the, our last house, when we had, we were hit by two hurricanes back to back and um bad hurricanes back to back a tree fell on our house luckily it only hit the garage and just did damage to the roof in the garage it wasn't too bad um our car wasn't in there so it didn't damage that uh, we never broke <laughs> the garage so we were without power for um Three weeks, not one time. We're out. We're out of power for like two weeks, eleven days to two weeks, and then we were out of power. Then we had a week of power, and then another hurricane hit, and we were out without power for a week. And this was in September, right around my birthday. And let me tell you, it was so freaking hot. <laughs> it was terrible. You know, it's one thing to be without electricity, but to be without electricity, what, it was so hot and so monkey. It was horrible, horrible. Crossing our fingers that that doesn't happen this year. Our county actually, um, I mean, we, we could get the electricity could go out from a minor hurricane. Which is what we've had the last time. Was it Matthew? I don't remember. So, um, the last hurricane at our current house. Um, and it, we didn't get any damage. It was just a, like quite a bit of water, but not flooding. Um, uh, definitely not flooding our yard. Our, our, our yard is higher than the other yards on the street, even though it doesn't look it. It actually is. And, um, but we had no electricity for a week, at least. It might have been 11 days for that. So, but our county hasn't had a severe hurricane in 50 years. Now, Beachside has, but that's not our county. That's a different county. If you live on Beachside, yeah. <laughs> and your hurricane comes, yeah. But... There's Beachside, how do I explain? And then you have to go over the bridge, the river. So then the river is, it's the Indian River. It's really wide. It provides a barrier 
the beach side provides a very barrier between us and the river and it slows the um force of winds and the water and and everything like that so uh, i don't know <laughs> something like that we just don't get as severe here it's a deterrent or something it's just our county is in that little pocket it's something about the cape cape canaveral space coast something about that too protects us so we're in a good spot you want to move to uh, uh brevard county move here you're not going to get hit by a hurricane as likely and then i say that and then you come here and move and you get hit by a hurricane don't blame me <laughs> guesses of how much I spend first of all oh, just, first of all I was wrong Who's in the car? wait a minute I'm gonna back up you know I don't really like this backup camera thing <laughs> I still want to look I have a backup camera in my in our truck I don't, know. I don't trust it <laughs> Anyway, so uh, I was wrong. It was more. It was 100, 115? I'll have to double check when I get home. 115. So that was about $250. That better last 10 days. I don't know. I haven't been keeping track because I haven't been going to the store all at once. I've been taking little little small trips now guarantee that is because i bought a lot of organic stuff not a huge amount and i didn't get any meat at Publix just now there wasn't anything um there was i was gonna get lamb because um I, I kind of the ground lamb to make um uh, shepherd's pie with um aldi's don't have that Publix and Publix didn't have any. It's in the same kind of thing that the um, grass-fed Fred beef. I don't know if it's the same brand. You know that little square, like um, nice package, whatever. And by the way, did you see the price of the grass-fed beef at uh, Publix? It was eight ninety-nine on sale. <laughs> it was a dollar off this week. It's regularly nine ninety-nine compared to five ninety. Right? No, it was four ninety-nine. It was a $4.99. I think it was $4.99 at Aldi. So definitely, uh, yeah. And the other thing I need to do, a lot of times I will buy the patties, the um, uh, grass-fed beef patties already made. I need to stop doing that because that's expensive. Because, let's see, the ones I usually buy were like $12.99. $12 so that's... Six fifty for two patties, and yeah, compared to four ninety nine. If I made my own patties out of a pound of, I don't know if it's it might be more than a pound because the little the little square things that I got from Aldi those were a pound. 
So I don't know if the beef patties, I don't, I'd have to check the weight. I don't know if I could see that on the, I filmed it. I think I did. I don't know if I could see that, but anyway, so, um, like I said, I guarantee you a lot of it is organic. And why do I buy organic? So in case inquiring ones, minds want to know, nobody's asked. I keep saying that, but I keep thinking people <laughs> are questioning it. But anyway, um, I don't know. None of you have, you guys are awesome. So, but in case a passerby, uh, <laughs> comes by, but I buy organic, not because it's healthier. I mean, it is healthier, but it's not like I'm going to lose more weight eating organic. I do it because I have an autoimmune disease and it's tough. The uh, regular fruits and vegetables and meats and stuff have a lot of, you know, you know what I'm telling you, you probably know this, but maybe you don't, pesticides and all kinds of other crap in that and, um... That is not good for autoimmune disease. You need to have the least amount of toxicity as possible. Um, do I eat perfectly? No. <laughs> I don't. And everything I buy is not organic. Every product I use is not natural. I do the best I can with the energy I have um, to think about it and buy it and plan it and all that kind of stuff as much as I can handle um I improve little by little really little by little <laughs> anyway um and if I stress myself out about it trying to do it all and change every single little thing of my diet that's worse than eating the um non-organic stuff so, and then when you're trying, like I'm trying to get back on track because I fell off the wagon again, you know, it happens, whatever. So, um, not, not, not horribly, but anyway, there's a lot of stuff that we definitely don't ever eat. Um, but if you're trying to get back on track, um, if you've gone by the wayside, if you're trying to get back on track, Try to baby step it. Don't baby step it when you first started, but like, um, how do I want to say? So what I'm kind of doing is each day I'm improving, not instead of each week. Like when I first started eating uh, healthy and trying to eat, trying to get the natural products out, try, I mean the non-natural products out, and the non-organic and switching over to all to clean eating and everything uh, I probably introduced something at once I got rid of something and introduced, introduced something new about once a month and then it started to be once a week but when I get off track it's like once a day I try to change a, ha a bad habit that I started or yeah from falling off and uh, so you know do that don't expect if if you fall, if you fall by the wayside to the next, the, the day you decide to get back on track to do everything perfectly that day. No, start with drinking water, then start maybe eating salads, and then stop buying junk food, and then, yeah. I would start with the healthy stuff first, worry about the junk food later, eat the good stuff, Get that in your system and then yeah that's 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 how that's how I would do it <laughs> I don't know if that's a good way but that that that's how I would do it um, yeah tomorrow I have not yet made a green smoothie um, I'm trying to I drink quite a bit of water today and yesterday tomorrow is um, green smoothie day starting that um, what else? Uh, I mean, you know, stop eating gluten. I didn't start that yet. I'm not having it every day, but I was he eating it here and there, and so I need to stop that. Um, because I'm allergic. Intolerant, gluten intolerant. 
that's why I'm so puffy. And yeah, and I'm overweight too, but seriously. It does, um, if I, I was thinking about, I don't know if I could do it, but I was thinking about doing a three day detox. And for three days, I have nothing but green smoothies to flush out my system. I should try just I should try just one day just one day nothing but green smoothies and see how that goes and then the next week maybe do two days and then the next week maybe do three days to flush out my system because three days sounds definitely could not do it for a week I I need to do it for a week my sister did it for two years <laughs> it's crazy no a year she did it for, she did it for a year and then uh, not just green smoothies she was juicing but mm, for several months it was just juicing and then to cleanse her body to get rid of the cancer and um, then she started she still ate plant-based but she introduced things like quinoa for protein and all that kind of stuff so still healthy stuff and now she's two years she's been doing that and she's eating uh, sometimes eats meat um, organic but she said she doesn't feel good when she eats it when she eats chicken the next day she feels achy interesting right even if it's organic chicken. At least I think that's what she's doing. Organic chicken. Maybe she's not eating. I think she is. Oh, though. <laughs> we had uh, fried chicken at the birthday party the other day. Both of us ate that, too. Yeah. But she's not eating on a daily basis or whatever. I peeled off most of the skin because that's gluten because they dip that in flour. And, um, not good. But I did eat some of it. see you inside get hubby to unload and show you what oh and when this is all said and done tomorrow if you need me I'll be on the couch all day <laughs> okay second half of this haul so chicken what was that that's the time I don't know how much that was. I'll put it on the screen. Hubby already dug into it. That's what he's eating for dinner. I guess he's saving this up for tomorrow. So that'll last two, three days for him. I got some organic lemons because, again, I'm putting them in my smoothies. They didn't have any organic limes, but I don't put those in my smoothies. I just put them in my drink. But the lemon, I don't know. What my logic is on that one but whatever and i bought some of the green wise organic butter don't even ask how much that was i don't even want to tell you it's ridiculous i don't know if i'm gonna keep buying that it's ridiculous and um i bought some of the vermont cheddar horse head and the ham for hubby they didn't have any chicken breast well they had it at the day but i didn't feel like waiting they have pre-sliced pre-prepared um section where you can just grab already sliced meat and you don't have to stand at the deli but they it was late in the day and they didn't have any left i have ginger for my smoothies cucumbers or that's not organic this is organic cucumber organic peppers this instead of tomatoes organic organic carrots organic celery uh, organic eggs organic cage-free eggs and this is what i bought myself for dinner and I'm going to have some fruit of some kind with it. Probably banana since I didn't have a banana today because we were out. And the chicken breast was buy one, get one free. The tuna was, but they didn't have any left. So I just bought some so we'd have something. Um, I'll stock up on it um, the next time they have it on sale. And we're all out of relish, so I bought some of that. I'm not really sure why I 
it because I don't know. I like it on occasion, but we were we I bought some fish sticks. Mm. Yeah, no more of that. Um, and I like to make tartar sauce. So, and then I bought hubby some of the organic. Um, Arnold organic. I switched between this and the um, Dave's Killer Bread back and forth. And he likes the smaller slice because I don't know. He likes the big ones too much bread. So. And then, what did I buy? Something was on sale, some kind of, it wasn't organic, but it was buy one, get one free. I couldn't pass that up. It was whole wheat bread, but not organic. And I bought some of the Simply Watermelon to splash in my uh, water bottle to uh, hopefully drink more water. And my beloved almond milk, got uh, three of those. I got hubby his beloved salted caramel. I need to see. If I can find a cheaper source. I looked on Amazon. I need to look again and see. I think maybe it might be cheaper. And then I decided to just buy one of these. And when it's gone, it's gone. There's only six of them in there. So when it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. And instead of buying two and then whatever. So, and then I bought some paper plates. They still don't have the cheapy. We use these for the cats to feed them. It's just easier. Um... They didn't have the cheapy, you know, like the real cheapo paper plates didn't have them. I haven't had them for like a month. I don't know why. And um, he asked for some Pringles, so I got that and then ice that's in the freezer. So, um, yeah, I'm pooped. I'm going to put what is perishable in the refrigerator and then go sit on the couch and eat. Okay, that's it for this video. I have a mess on the floor from all the bags. They need washed. They were ooey. I didn't even know it. I haven't used them in so long. I don't use them at Publix because I'm bad. But I had to have them for Aldi. So anyway, I need to wash them somehow. Anyway, I'm um, a hot mess. And uh, I'm going to take a chill and use my massager. Uh, maybe just drink some of that Simply Watermelon. Even though I shouldn't. Just straight <laughs> some ice. <laughs> And, um, uh, yeah. Until next time, guys. Enjoy your day. I think before I do anything, I'm going to... Where's my turmeric? I'm going to take an extra turmeric. <sighs> Inflammation. My legs are hurting me from being on my feet all day. And, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. And uh, thanks for sticking by my side while I take a little YouTube break. Still kind of, sort of taking a break. But I will have an anti-procrastination Wednesday video coming up soon. And some other videos. Until next time, enjoy your day.